Hello and welcome to Technically Analytics. Today we're going to introduce a new series called F1 Chat. Now I know this is a bit late because the season just ended, but I figured there's no better time to start than after the season. Uh, that's because I was waiting to make this video when the season ended because of the video that the nature of the video is that I needed all the results to be in. So with the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix ending uh, on Sunday, I can finally make a video about Oscar Piastri in his incredible rookie season. If you don't know about this, uh, Oscar Piastri is a rookie driver and he races for the McLaren, which is the same team in which the greatest driver to ever race, Lewis Hamilton, raced for when he was a rookie. Now, you probably know Lewis Hamilton. He races for Mercedes. He's won seven championships. He has 197 podiums. The man is just the best of all time. He he has the most race wins. He has the most everything. And he's a really nice guy. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to be comparing Piastri, who also raced for Mer Piastri and Hamilton, raced both for McLaren in their rookie seasons. And as you can see by Piastri's profile, he has two podiums, 97 points. Now, this brings me to the next point. Where did they come in the standings in 2023? Hamilton came in third with 234 points. Piastri came in ninth with 97 points, which is a pretty good result. And we'll talk more about his standings within the rookies uh, a little bit later on. But first, we're going to look at Hamilton's career with McLaren. Hamilton got into McLaren as a rookie in 2007, uh, and he came in second place in the World Championship. Hamilton had great success. He had a lot. He had 12 podiums. He had quite a few wins, uh, and you can and you can see that he also won the championship the next year, which we'll see. That remains to be seen if Piastri can can match that, but. But basically, as you look at his race history in this first year, you can see that he won He won in Canada, he won in the USA, he won in Hungary, he won in Japan. He won a lot of races for a rookie. He retired once in China and came 7th in Brazil. His worst, well actually, not his worst result, but one of his worst results at the end of the season. But he came one point short of, of Kimi Raikkonen. Uh, and he had the most consecutive podi podium finishes from debut, nine. And he had the most joint wins in a debut season, four. Uh, so Hamilton also had a kind of a bad teammate. And that teammate was Fernando Alonso, who currently drives for Aston Martin. Uh, him and Alonso had some bad blood. Eventually, Alonso ended up losing McLaren, went to Ferrari. And Hamilton signed on for a multi-year contract and stayed with the team till 2012. As you can see on um, his history, he in 2012 he came in fourth, and then he moved on to Mercedes and had that great historic season. Now, as for Piastri, in comparison, now let's be clear: Hamilton is one of the best all-time drivers. Piastri was never going to get anywhere near him. However, Piastri came up to Formula 1 in 2022 as a reserve driver, controversially. He had that tweet where he tweeted out about how he didn't sign a contract with Alpine and stuff. And then he went, then suddenly he was with McLaren and was like, whoa, what the heck? He was a reserve driver 2022. Then he came up to drive for the team 2023. He raced 22 races. He had, he had two podiums, two fastest laps, 97 points. And surprisingly, this is the best rookie season for any driver for any driver as a rookie in McLaren since Lewis Hamilton. Yep. All it took was two podiums. And he had a sprint win. And when you look at his finishes, McLaren from the beginning of the year decided that they were not going to try that hard. And up until Austria where they finally said, okay, we're ready to try hard. And Piastri didn't get the update in Austria, so he, he didn't do that well. But Norris came in second. 
in that race. And then after that, Piastri started really showing off what he could do. Came in fourth in, in Silverstone, came in fifth in Hungary. He had to retire in Belgium, had some problems. Didn't do so hot in Netherlands or in Monza. Seventh in Singapore, third in Japan, second in Qatar, retired in the US, eighth, 14th, 10th, sixth. And not too bad, you know, like for a rookie driver, he, he performed very well. Uh, according to a lot of people so but we're gonna focus on the two races where he came in third and second and we're gonna focus on japan first where he came in second you can see the point standing uh or he came in third rather sorry he came in third and 15 points he and this was a really good race for him like he really was impressive in this one he really he really got the most out of this race. The McLaren looked very fast, even though they finished 20 seconds behind Verstappen. They both looked very fast and on it. I was very impressed by this. Now, the the more impressive race was actually Qatar, where Piastri was only four seconds away from Verstappen, who won 19 races, had the best season ever, scored 800 something points. So it was very impressive for Piastri not only to be that close to Verstappen, but also beat his teammate by over a second as well, Norris, who's very consistent. And before that race, he had the sprint where he ended up winning. Somehow he got around Verstappen and he was able to keep his tires in and Red Bull was on the back foot, I guess, or they just can't get the setup right at that point. And Piastri was able to take first place in the sprint, his first win in Formula One. He also won before Lando Norris. Norris has never come in first in any event in F1 yet. And that's a really impressive result for Piastri. So this is, this is the kind of thing that Hamilton kind of did. But he did it. There was no sprint races back in 2007. So he did it on race races. But it's very impressive for a rookie driver to come in and do this. And, you know, and one of the reasons why is there was other rookie drivers this season too. He wasn't, Piastri wasn't the only one. So when you look at the points scored by rookies, you can see that Piastri had the most points by a long shot. Sargent had one, Liam Lawson had two, he looked pretty impressive, only two points, but you gotta remember, five races. Sargent had all 20, all 22, and DeVries had none, and he was kind of a stinker. So this is what I'm saying, this is kind of the point of this video, is that Piastri is the best rookie since Lewis Hamilton to drive for McLaren. And I think he has a promising future. I think he can be a very good driver, if not superstar. If McLaren can give him the car, I don't see why he's not competing for, you know, the top step of the podium in a lot of races and a lot of seasons. So yeah, this is F1 Chat, and I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one.